Hey guys, this is Yusuf Shah from TechDroids and welcome back to a brand new video on the channel. And Apple launched a bunch of stuff at WWDC 2017. So from that $5,000 killer iMac Pro to the new 10.5 inch iPads. And they also updated the MacBooks. And in that, they updated the MacBook Air and gave it a $1,000 price bracket and a new name. So the 2017 new MacBook Air. So in this video, I'm going to tell you the five biggest problems that the MacBook Air has and why you should reconsider and think twice before getting it as your new daily machine. At number five is that display and the first thing that you will get to see when you open that new MacBook Air. And it's really bad and it's bad at a few things. First up, it's a TN panel, so LED backlit, but TN panel, so that's the lowest grade of you know, displays that you can get. And you see it in cheap, you know, $300, $200 laptops, where you know, in that price bracket, you can appreciate it, but when it comes to $1,000 laptops, it's just terrible. It has a resolution of 1600 into 900, which is not even 1080p, so video editing will be a terrible experience as you'll not be able to you know, watch your own videos and preview your own videos in 1080p. Next up, it has really bad viewing angles. So until unless you're looking at, at you know dead straight, you'll have really bad viewing angles. You'll have faded you know colors, and it's really bad at color reproduction and contrast as well. So in simple words, the display is a thumbs down. It's terrible. And a thousand dollar laptop, I didn't expect Apple to have such a low quality of display. And all the other you know competitions have really good displays. And when you compare it with the MacBook Air's display, they look miles better, like seriously miles better. And if Apple really wants to sell the MacBook Air in 2017, please, please upgrade that display on the MacBook Air. At number four, you have the specs powering that display. And inside you have a fifth generation Intel Core i5 or i7 clocked at 1.8 gigahertz. Last year's model had a 1.6 gigahertz processor. And that's it. You have eight gigabytes of DDR3 1600 megahertz RAM, and you have Intel HD Graphics 6000. Thousand dollar laptop. Dell has a you know thousand dollar laptop with a 1050 Ti. You know another Dell laptop with a bezel-less display, and you know LG has a LG Gram, which is also around thousand dollars with really good specs and you know better ports, a better display. Then why Apple? Why is Apple not doing it? Fifth generation processes in 2017. Seriously, you'll get really underpowered performance. Video editing and high intensive tasks will be a pain in the butt while doing on the you know, MacBook Air. So I feel if Apple really wants to sell it in the you know, 2017 era, you gotta update to KB Lake. And they did it with the MacBook Pros and everything else, but they just wanted to you know, give this MacBook Air whatever stocks were left out with just a little overclock of the CPU and that's it. And you'll come to know how much they upgraded later on in the video. Number three, relate to it, outdated I.O. They don't have a USB Type-C port in the MacBook Air, whereas they brag about it everywhere in you know, their WWDC conference. And they replaced the whole port error you know, lineup with a USB Type-C port on the MacBook 12-inch, with the MacBook Pros, and everywhere else. And in a few years, you won't see any you know, type of ports on any sort of Apple device rather than a USB Type-C. Then why not MacBook Airs? Because you didn't bother to put in an you know, effort to make a new design, put in that USB Type-C Thunderbolt 3 ports. Now you do get decent I.O. and more than the other MacBooks. That's why Apple is playing that you know game with you. They give you two USB 3s, Thunderbolt 2 dis mini display port form factor, you know SD card reader, MagSafe, legendary. I respect that that they have MagSafe. But seriously, are you kidding me? No USB Type-C and you brag about it everywhere in any other device that you make. That shows how much you have worked on upgrading that MacBook Air that you've just released. For $1,000, no USB Type-C port. I'm getting too excited, but that's what the MacBook Air is all about. It's kind of thrash and pointless in 2017. Number two is that speakers and the huge bezels on the display. Seriously, Apple, you haven't changed the design from like 2010. It's been seven years and the MacBook Air has still been sitting on the same design. Big, huge, chunky bezels on the front. Whereas the Dell series of laptops are just omitting every bit of bezel that they can. The LG Gram has minimal bezels, but a better display. And speakers, MacBook 12 inch, all, you know, all awesome speakers. MacBook Pro, even better. Then why the MacBook Air? And that shows how much up, you know, effort you've put in upgrading that MacBook Air. The MacBook Air has not an updated pair of speakers. It's still that you know, decent speakers, which will not blow your mind away and will not be you know, more than useful for just listening to a few songs or watching movies. And if you want to do anything more than that, you would have to buy a you know, separate pair of speakers or a better pair of headphones. And Apple, why are you selling the MacBook Air in 2017 with that spec sheet? It's really terrible to see it from you and the MacBook Air, 
I hope no one buys it. Otherwise, you you know, you know you're going to be disappointed. And one thing to note: if you have a MacBook Air from any last at least four years, don't get this one. Just skip this one and wait for the next one. I feel you know 2018 will be the end of MacBook Airs. Apple will have something else to replace it, or just the MacBook 13.3 inch will become the MacBook Air replacement, and that's it. At number one is the price itself. $1,000 for laptop which has a 5th gen Intel core processor, 8 gigs of RAM, DDR3, no USB Type-C, terrible display, decent speakers, no special features to back that price bracket up apart from the battery life, no external graphics and you're planning to sell this at a price where you know pro users are going to buy it. $1,000 seems to be a lot of money and if I were to spend $1,000 I would expect the laptop to do 4K video editing you know, and decent gaming as well which Apple doesn't do. That's been it guys, thanks a lot for watching. I really don't recommend buying the MacBook Air in 2017. Maybe spend on a Windows machine, maybe get you know the iMac, maybe get a late 2014-2013 MacBook Pro, which will get you a better spec computer with external graphics and a better retina display. And that's been it. Drop this video a big thumbs up if you agree with me. Leave comments down below, dislike if you don't, and let me know why you dislike the video. And that's been it guys, thanks a lot for watching and I'll catch you guys in the next one. Subscribe to the channel, turn on notifications so that you don't miss out on you know, those crucial uploads from WWDC 2017 and also we'll have a video coming up on the upcoming OnePlus 5. Thanks for watching, see you in the next one. Peace.